Hi, I'm RJ here with Living for the Moment, and I am here with the one and only Abby Darstar. <laughs> All right. So, um, go ahead and start off a little bit, tell us about yourself, who you are, where you're from, and who, who do you cosplay? Uh, let's see, I'm Abby Darkstar, and I'm from the great city of Atlanta. No, just kidding. Um, I'm Abby. Uh, I'm from, right now, San Francisco, California. I've been living out here for over two years. I was on the East Coast prior to that. Um, I do costumes. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably, a lot of people know my Poison Ivy. I do a different couple of incarnations of her from Arkham Asylum to Kotobukiya. I done Claudette from Queen's Blade. I, I do a whole bunch of different costumes that I enjoy making and creating and putting together. Well, that goes into my next question. You make you make your cosplay outfits? Um, I actually started commissioning outfits when I first started, like back in the day. And um, recently, I've been trying to make almost everything that I wear. Um, it's it's been a development of years and years of learning different techniques and and sewing and throwing things out and crying and bleeding on them and stuff. But uh, most recently, mostly all my stuff is mostly made by me. Yay! Okay. What has been, what has been the most difficult one for you to make? Um, hmm, most difficult one. See, there's, there's ratios of difficulty. There's like the ratio of difficulty where I don't ever want to wear this costume again, difficulty. And then there's the ratio of, this is really worth the time and effort. Um, I'm going to have to say the two costumes that were difficult, to, well, there's actually three that were difficult to make were Kodobin Kia Ivy, because that was, a, that was a statue that was like, how are we going to make this come to life? What mediums are we going to use? Um, and then there was Satil Sean, which would be a leathers commission from Twisted World, and they put all the leathers together. But that was a lot of work because, like, we were researching how to do all this leather bits and there's so much of Satil's costume that don't work in real life. It's like, this this is not possible. How does she bend her arm and do this with a lightsaber if you can't actually bend your arm with gauntlets on? So that was something. But um, the most recent one was Claudette and Keith, uh, Zen Dragon, my husband and I, we made all of that. All of that is 100% us except for the sword, which was a wedding present from our friend Dave. Um, but we did the painting and the finishing work on it. Okay. Uh, that was a lot of trial and error process. That was back and forth, like sculpting, mold making, what mediums are we using, etc. So I'm gonna go with Claudette. Long answer, but now short. <laughs> All right. What has been your favorite cosplay to do? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's. Probably Arkham Asylum Ivy or Satil Sean. Um, but for pure fun that I didn't make because uh, it was Starbuck. I did that at San Diego Comic Con. And we got screen used costumes from Anovos who, who did all the costumes for Blood and Chrome. And we got some screen used, they're, they're all screen used. And I, I, I was a latecomer to Valsar Galactica because at first I was like, I like the old version. I'm not watching the new version. Burr, 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 burr. And then I start watching the new version. I'm like, holy crack! This is awesome! <laughs> and did it just break? No, we're good. Okay, we're good. sorry. Um, and then I we got the costumes, and I had so much fun in Starbucks. Oh, my God. I, 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 I saw one of your stories. You almost got in a fight or something. Yes. <laughs> um so what happened was is we're going to the replica prop party that night and so I didn't take Starbuck off from where I had her on before and um, we were at the bar and then I had to get something up in the room so I'm like hey I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i be right back guys and I'm waiting in line for the elevator and these guys come up to me and they're like hey are those guns real? and they start like jerking on my holsters that I had in my double holsters. And I'm like, no, they're not. They're props. Please leave them alone. And they're like, I want to see them. And they're like jerking on them and jerking on them. And then they start kicking them, like with their knee, like kicking them. And even though they're resin props and they're pretty hefty, they can break. And they're not cheap because they're cast off the original stuff. So I, like, got so angry. <laughs> I, I, like, totally bowed up at them. And I'm little five to me and I'm like take your fracking hands off my fracking guts <laughs> and the, the whole crowd's like go Starbucks go Starbucks <laughs> uh, 
That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, you, you attend conventions. Um, what's your lineup for conventions this year, the rest of this year? Um, well, for the rest of the year, it looks like Dragon Con is going to be our last convention. Uh, my favorite convention is one of my first. Uh, I have not missed Dragon Con yet, and I don't plan on missing it. Any sort of, where's wood? Yeah. Any sort of, you know, colossal emergency. <laughs> I hope I get to meet up with you because this is my first Dragon Con, so I'll be there. So you'll have a. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, how did you discover cosplay? Um, my dad. No. <laughs> um, my dad was a huge inspiration to me. Uh, growing up, my dad stayed at home with me, and my mom went to work. So my afternoons were filled with cars, cartoons, and comic books, and sci-fi. And so my dad gave me my love of, of everything geeky. And I was from middle school all the way through college. And when I was in college, I switched my major from theater to history. And I saw this creative like outlet I needed and stuff. So about that same time, I went to my first convention, and I saw people in costumes. I was like... I can do that. I can make that. And lo and behold, the next year I was in costume at a convention. Okay. Next question is, why do you cosplay? I love the creativity. I love the, the absolute love of the character and immersion in the character. I love being able to take a 2D or 3D image, whatever it might be, in the mediums it is, and bring it to life. I love seeing kids' eyes light up when I walk by them, and they're like, oh, you know, or when my husband and I are in uh, Black Widow and Iron Man, and like seeing the kids and their, their faces. I love meeting people. I love interacting. I love sharing this hobby. Um, I love geeking out over Doctor Who, or I love arguing about, you know, what at the end of this Firefly or, you know, I, I love it all. Okay. What has been your biggest struggle in cosplay and how did you overcome it? My biggest struggle in cosplay? Uh, myself. Uh, my own need to be a perfectionist is a little bit frustrating because if I don't get things right the first time, I tend to go, ah, you know, and I expect myself to be perfect. And I think that battles against me a lot. Um, other than that, I, I think what bothers me about cosplay is how people can be negative about it sometimes, whether it's towards each other or other people with their attitude with it. And what I, do is when I'm feeling negative or I'm seeing negativity, I try to invest it in something positive. So if I'm having a really craptastic day because somebody said something really mean on my Facebook page, I'll go donate something to charity. <laughs> that, that goes, that, you actually started answering my next question. Uh, <laughs> there is a, I, since I started my going into the cosplay world, I've noticed there is always that one person who's negative about something, about, and kind of answered how do, how do you deal with how you deal with it and and also like you have you ever ran into negativity at conventions and how do you deal with it at conventions um i haven't really ran into it too much at conventions but i, I mean the way i am at conventions is i smile and kind of greet everybody like as people walk by me like hi hi you know, so I, I give them eye contact. I let them know that I'm positive and receptive. You know, when we were wearing our Queen's Blade stuff at Comic-Con, there was, like, one lady that walked by, and she, like, covered her child's eyes, and she was like, don't look. Don't. And, like, I kind of turned to them, and I, I almost said this, but I didn't because I wanted to be respectful. But I almost said, yeah, don't look. Don't ever go look at yourself naked in the mirror when you grow up, kid. And don't ever have a healthy self-respect for yourself because the human body is beautiful and we should celebrate that. But I really don't face too much negativity because I try to handle it as I go into it, I guess. Okay. All right, big question for you. And I've, I've decided for the answer for this one. Assuming money was not an object, time was not an issue, 
What cosplay would you make? Um, the big rim. I'm making myself a Jaeger. <laughs> I was flipping out. I was like, literally, me and my friend Allie were sitting in there, and we were like, ah! Ah! and the guy behind us left the theater. <laughs> I will tell you, my favorite part of that whole entire movie is when he's walking down. Is it, is it Tokyo or Japan with the boat? Just using it as a club. I'm just like, that's just totally awesome. <laughs> my favorite was, I, and I don't spoil alert. Spoil alert! If you haven't seen the movie, don't listen to this next part. Um, is when he's like, we have no other options, and she's like, there's another option, and she, oh. and this. Jaeger. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Is there anything you, you have any advice for new cosplayers? Because I, I know there's a lot of cosplayers that I speak to. They actually look up to you and follow your work. Do you have any advice for fellow cosplayers that are in the cosplay industry or new into the cosplay industry? Um, my first thing is to be real, to be realistic, and to be yourself. Um, go into it knowing that you're going to have beginning costumes. You're going to have beginning photos. I mean, I actually was talking to Zen about earlier, how about when I started years ago, oh, what my photography was like. And there's stuff like, I'll find it now. I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to see that. No. And because you grow. And to keep growing, to keep being positive, um, have fun with it. Find your reason why and stick to it. And even though it's hard and you're going to see stuff that brings you down, try to keep going positive. Try to surround yourself with positive people that aren't like, me, 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 me. You know, stay out for a chance. Stay out for a chance. <laughs> Do it. I actually have an off a question. When you started your cosplay, doing cosplay and had your fan base, did you ever think that you would – be at this popularity level when people would look up to you and ask you for advice? You, you know, honestly, no. I mean, when I first got into it, I was like, I'm going to be like so-and-so because I didn't know any better. You know, I didn't realize how much work went into it. And and then I realized that being like somebody else's wasn't my, my center, myself. So I had to give it some good focus. And I went back and I realized that the characters were what spoke to me, the design was what spoke to me, the creativity is what spoke to me, and I went with that. Um, I, I would say just, just stick with that. Be yourselves. All right. At this time, do you have anybody you want to have a shout out or say thank you to? I thank you, Ms. Vader Six, because she had so much stuff. To, um, do for my for my question, I did a research a whole thing to help her with Warbla. So uh, I did record a video and mention her tonight. So, but, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. To say bye to oh, you. this is my friend Jen. He's just now introducing me to cosplay, and I think it's really awesome. Yes. I'm beginning of that, what'd you say? Uh, he's just now introducing me to cosplay, and I think it's really, really, really freaking badass, actually. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see you at the next convention then. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you so much, Abby. Is there anything else you would like to add? Nope. Uh, have a great evening, and thank you for spending time with me. Well, I'm RJ from Living for the Moment, and this is Abby Darkstar. Signing off till next time. Bye.